This is Walt. He's Canada's most haunted doll. There's someone that wants us to go upstairs. And I would guarantee someone died here. What the heck? This place is definitely haunted. Something literally ran by and scratched me. What oh my god. Like? That's the smell of roasted human. She's almost like trying to tell me something, but she's very frantic. Wow! Oh my god, they're horrifying faces. I was like trying to pull her out of the darkness. <laughs> Hey Calcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. We are in Canada. I'm here with Mysterion. Ooh. I'm not Mysterion. Oh, and I'm Kira. Mysteriet. That's Kira. Mysteriet. Yeah. <laughs> Mysteriet, Mysterion. I've never been here, but he lives here in Toronto. You guys know I love antiques. Those antique boxes, I always buy them and I put oddities in them. Maybe we'll put Kira's head in a box. <laughs> Not her head. I'll match my dad. I to know. the right. <laughs> Creepy this is. Oh my god, there's a wheelchair. Ooh. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought it was like someone with a sheet. Haunted <laughs> ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I thought that, I thought that just fell. No, I I bumped it. That was weird, right? When it bumped it, it said communicate. It's, it's me trying to communicate with them. Look at it. It's your brother. There's a lot of toys on the third floor now. So I guess Chris comes in here all the time. This is one of his favorite antique malls but we were just talking to one of the people who work at the store and i guess selena and chris have been here so big shout out to them go check out their video i don't know if they did like spooky stuff here or what but this is crazy i just saw a lady a ghost lady she looks like right there Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed at places like this because there's just a lot of energy, whether it be residual or things, you know, things with objects or things that are here. Or I don't know. It's just like, I just feel like disoriented. Like, well, that's the thing with these types of places. It's just a lot. <laughs> have to take it in small doses. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to and do. And just accept that some of the booths you have to pass by. Yeah. But come here, let's take a look. Here, there's something here that's haunted. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. If I just drop dead. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I've always loved like little antiques and things like that. I just like touching them because I would always get like an energy. So I've always been super into just old antiques and old photo books and I would be going through them at my grandma's house while all the other kids were playing with toys. I was going through old photo books because it just like I loved the energy that I felt and I never, I thought it was normal. I was like, why doesn't anyone else want to go through this photo book with me? This is really cool. I'm gonna put on the spirit meter. If you guys want this app, the link is down below in the description. It said bike. A bike? You see a bike. Um, oh my god, no, but I see the pig from the spider verse. Oh. I'm sure there's a bike. There has, there has to, be. to be a bike. I was starting to get dizzy, so I stopped filming because I was just 11. like 11. Oh. I thought I saw someone right there. Maybe not. I don't know. It's like I keep seeing people, I think they're coming, I move out of the way, and then there's like no one there. It's weird, it's weird, it's pretty weird. Oh my god, again, again. I literally just saw someone. This place is definitely haunted. I'll tell you. Maybe they're from the 1970s? I stopped, I stopped. You want me to come back to you? This is where they were standing by the comic book. Why did you want me to stop? Wait and see. I'm nervous. <laughs> what am I waiting for? Protection. I just got this whole like chill up my spine as it said protection. Are you here to help me? Should I turn this off, I guess? Or we stop recording? I'm a little nervous. Thank you. Mark this spot. I guess if I get overwhelmed, I'll come to this spot. Oh, 
was really weird. I'm trying to focus on filming, but as I walk around, it's really hard to. There's just like a lot. I don't know if you guys see, I'm just like kind of talking like this. Like that's what I noticed. It's really, it's weird. I also feel that, but I have ADHD, so, but you, you probably feel it like crazy because yeah. also that energy, but yeah. There's the stuff, place. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, back there, there was some serious stuff. Uh, Stay, stay away. away. Oh, exactly. From over there. Stay That's away where from we over felt there. weird. Yeah, see that? It smelled like somebody farted. It did. <laughs> it did, though. No, it, did. It, did. it smelled bad. It did. Hey, yeah, there's know. something over there. It's kind of creepy. That's where I felt really like we'll dizzy. Stay away. Why is his leg like that? Look at his leg. Oh, he's broke his leg. Poor oh, Michael. This was a real dude just stealing <laughs> Go over to his scared. pocket. It does something. I've seen these before. Go touch the Wait. button on his pocket. I'm scared. No, go. just touch the button on his pocket. Go for it. It's funny. Go okay. for it. Go on his pocket. Ah! Got her again. Get on it, though. <laughs> There's someone that wants us to go upstairs. All right, we'll go upstairs. Something is following you as I said that. Over here? Not so. Not so. Not so. <laughs> what? Not so. Oh, look what I found. Chris went the it's wrong way. Literally, your oil? Did look you find guys, oil? Found something really fun: a Halloween creep Dracula. That's so what if you found oil? <laughs> <laughs> Is this moving? Yeah, you see it moving, right? Looking for a draft. I'm, I'm so no I'm Zach Baggins debunking. There is it no. was literally like yeah, swinging. Just go, Let uh, me like walk near it, you know, and see if it's just like the floor is uneven. We'll do it later. If I buy it, I buy it. I'm buying the ship, so thank you. But no one was over there. <laughs> no, yeah, no one was over there. It, it was. was moving. When we first came in here though, I like, my eyes went straight to it. It just doesn't like feel right. Yeah, it doesn't look it's right. Not, like, like I like nice haunted things, you yeah. know? That one's just like, I don't know. It doesn't look right. Thing told us to go upstairs, so we're gonna listen. I wonder why they want us to come up here. This painting? Yeah. Oh, pictures? Portrait? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but. She has a doll. Yeah, she does, but the doll doesn't have like a face. No. Doesn't it like Disease. just. Disease. Doesn't it feel heavy in here? Absolutely. Like, it smells. It's because I'm in the room. Yeah, exactly. You it walked in and I was like disgusted. It That's almost feels like uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't know how to explain. Some of these are like. Creepy looking. Look at this one. Whatever's up here is very strong. Don't you feel how like strong it is compared yeah. to downstairs? Yeah. Like there were things like, downstairs. This used to be some form of a factory, and I would guarantee like somebody here. died happened. Yeah. yeah, somebody died here. Absolutely. Sure. I gotta find out what happened or what the building is known for, and if they have anything that they've reported. Yeah. Because I've been in here a few times, and it's super creepy at points in the building. Other places are clear, and then you come yeah, down and then it's really right cool. when we walked in yeah. here, it was just like a lot. Do you guys see how the mirrors are all facing each other in here? Mm -hmm. It's like a portal. Mm -hmm. I want to do a little session right here and see. Hey, okay, I want to know who drew me in here because someone wanted me to come up here. Can you tell me who you are? <laughs> Not yet. Trying to like figure out who it is, what their name is or anything, and it's just not giving me anything. Like, what did you, you die in this building? Let me see. They're Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What happened to your stomach? Like there's something right here. Mm. You sure you're not picking up on me? Do you have what? something with your stomach? Ooh. 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 What happened to your stomach? Well, because you have a big ass scar. Touch it. No, I don't want to touch, touch it. it. <laughs> what I'm seeing is a cross though, this like a horizontal. Right. For the thing? For, yeah. for the whatever people. I'm being shown is... <laughs> it's like they got cut. Project was the last word on that one. Was it? Were you... Were you hurt in this building? I just keep hearing something about the conditions. Maybe they weren't careful here. I don't know. Maybe there were not good conditions. Do you have a name? I keep getting some of the J. 
Wow. Maybe are. That's so specific. That's what I sensed. Or I Did it just say what you said? Yeah. My I'll have to listen to that back. Is this a portal in this room? There's a lot of energy in here. Don't say it. You said it, didn't it? You heard it again, didn't you? Don't tell me these things. I heard it. Don't tell me these things. Maybe he wants you to ask a question. Ask the question. Oh no. Did you die here? Did you fall out a window? Ew. Did you not hear that? I said like nasty. Oh, I thought it went. Like... Did you lean out a window and fall? I Did you die in the winter when it was really cold? I heard freezing. I keep hearing, like seeing snow. Is there something we should buy? Mirror. Yeah. Picture. Yeah. Look behind you. I feel sick. Should we get out of the portal room? I feel my energy being like depleted. Me too. There's a portal? There's Zoda a portal. Says, There's a yeah. portal. All right, Anything can come through from a portal. Alright, before we go, who do you like? Me, Kira, or Kelsey? Yeah. It's rude. Do you like Kira? <laughs> Lovely! Yeah, Lovely! Yeah. <laughs> I like the Kira. Do you want Kira to come home with you? Stop. Do you want Kira to stay here forever? And ever. And ever. What should we give Kira that's in here as a gift? Oh my god, don't. Well, thank you for talking with us. <gasps> Good talk. To talk. Good talk. Good talk. Oh, it's laughing. I thought it was like crying. No, that doll is like screaming. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, it's like happy, but it just doesn't look right. <laughs> That's the only song I know to like. That is really cute. I wonder if it actually works. Right? Dude, look at this. They don't even have like a mouth. Isn't that weird? So imagine coming here at night. I wonder if any, I don't know. If people have come here at night? At night to like, that'd be creepy. I see my pants. Like with no one oh here. My God, stop. You know, I'm all <laughs> I feel like it, there would be some weird things. I really do. I found the dolls. Aww. Kind of looks like Lola. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. It says, I'm just a baby. It says, I like the antique store. It says, I like it. Guys, I found Santo a girlfriend. That is just bizarre. Well, look at the shoes. Pretty cool. Take her on the flight. <laughs> oh, God. She sits next to me on the plane. <laughs> I've done weird. I'm sorry, buddy. Wait, someone literally dropped off their it pet Looks urn. like someone got rid of their pet. This was on top of it. And that's what belongs in it. It's a buddy. I'm oh, sorry, no. little buddy. Who just drops off? Well, their... the person probably died. Oh. This looks like it's an urn from the 70s or 80s. So probably oh. buddy died and their urn just went back into the antique world. Oh. So someone can get a ghost dog. <laughs> I guess. Oh. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm cheerful, tearful. <laughs> it cries real tears. Oh, it has like tear ducts. That is weird. <laughs> Guys, we found the bike. Can you ride it? <laughs> it like breaks. It does look oh, it like. Oh, says don't ride. Oh. Nani, nani, nani. I officially feel old. Why are brat dolls at the antique shop? Yasmin was my favorite. 
Oh my god, I have this jet ski. We're getting old. I don't like it. We should come back here when we're like 60. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> iPhones. iPhones are they in the freaking. Dude, I saw are like they? an Apple keypad, like one of the older ones. Really? Where you could like detach. Yeah, it's over there. Sad. Sad day. Is this place haunted? Oh, <gasps> it went to yes! Are you evil? <gasps> it went to maybe? This is me. that clown Kira. Oh my god, it went to yes. No, I don't agree. I disagree. Rude. <laughs> guys, look at this freaking elevator. That's creepy. You Even this fun. is, oh yeah. Even this is old. Definitely like one person's probably have to have one person. On <laughs> Just at least one. Yeah, no, it's definitely. <gasps> Sorry, I probably thought probably that somebody probably touched it, but that was it's bad coming. timing. Wait, it's coming. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait, why is no one in there? They called it down. Okay, yeah. I thought it was stopping here. It was stopped here. here. Whoa. Dude, that's crazy. That's old, girl. Yeah. Kira's dad worked on Adam's Family Value. Uh, the first one and the second one. Oh, both of them? Mm -hmm. An icon. We found its hand, though. Thing. 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 It, it's the hairy it one. The hairy one. He Wait, did, did he do, do the hairy yes, one? Yes, he did do the he hairy one. He did the hairy one, guys. Her dad made my whole childhood. Every movie. I didn't realize how many because, like, I know Chucky, he did. And then I started looking on his Instagram. He's done every freaking, like, my entire childhood, my life is. Your dad made all this shit. I know. Same. It's crazy. It's crazy. Dude, that's why we came out here because we were gonna come visit because he was working on Ch the Chucky TV series. Yes, he was yes. working on that and we were gonna come visit him and then the strike happened and then we couldn't, he couldn't be here, but we still were like, let's go anyway. Yeah. And Chris <laughs> wanted to take us to all these places and he took us here. Really cool. Cool and creepy. Yeah. How many human skulls did he say he had in this house? I think he said like 28, which is more than my dad. My dad has like five. Actual human skulls? Yes, and like a baby school really which I think nowadays is illegal but back in the day it wasn't right right <laughs> back in the day too they used real human bones on set and stuff because it was cheaper yes I've heard something like that I should ask like all the SFX guys needed like reference for right. what they were creating but it was like a lot easier in the 80s to be like hey could I just like have this person right like yeah right. <laughs> that's, that's so Trump crazy <laughs> This town ain't big enough for the two of us. No, I'm Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. You're Pinhead. I ain't Pinhead, you Pinhead, Pinhead. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I kinda look like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I've got a job done. <laughs> All right, we're on the third floor. It's a lot heavier up here. How do you feel up here compared to like the floor we were just on? I'm scared. Away. That away. felt hot when I touched this for some reason. Away. What is this? It's just like. I don't know, some sort of crafted cross. That was like a bad band. Wood holds a lot of energy though. We're playing in the Sunset Strip or Crafted Cross. <laughs> Come check us out. <laughs> we're at the whiskey on Wednesday. Obviously, it's going to be a factory of some sort. I wonder right. if each floor was a different department, you know? Probably. What did it say? Spring. Spring. Wow. What is that? Oh, that's cool. God, my whole stomach hurts. Like the, yeah, yeah, me too. I feel sick. It's painful. I don't know if it's that same thing I was feeling earlier. Oh, look it. What's all this? Oh, yeah. Bones. Bones. These are human. Wait, no, that's cow. That's a calf bone. These are pieces of birds. It's like my whole back and stomach are just in pain. Why is there so much like pain in my body? That's just bizarre. I felt fine too. <laughs> it's weird, it just said I will go. My pain kind of like left when whatever it left. Wait, what the heck? That's creepy. Is it like mechanical? Oh. Okay. Good night. 
gonna you didn't do that. touch it? I didn't touch that one. I touched the I touched that vase that was like hanging earlier. That was really weird. Yeah, it was yeah. rocking like really aggressively. Really? Like that. And you caught it? Yeah. You said strange. It was literally doing that. Why is there so much more energy up here? Prayer. Prayer. This Who's there? I'm Kelsey. Who's that person I keep seeing? There's someone I kept mistaking him for you. I thought it like it would turn around. It's weird. Who moved that little rocking chair? Me. Can you do it again? Next to you. Is there something bad up here? <gasps> this one's swinging. Look. See that swinging? Yeah. And there's no fan. There is <laughs> no fan. That's weird that it's just that one. What is it up? Miss Piggy. Should I buy this? Should I buy this for Liz? She collects these. There's a lot of movement up here. That's so weird. Something um, happened in the elevator? That's what me and Kira were thinking. Yeah, Kira and I were like, maybe someone fell or like, that's what we were Did thinking. Did someone get crushed? Me. Is somebody in the elevator? Is there someone named Ralph? Do you like the music? We on a ghost hunt. We on a ghost hunt. It's the best you're gonna get. Someone likes your. Someone likes it. It's a kid. A kid likes it. Good fun. They like it. Really clearly. That was really weird. I was just walking and I felt like a scratch on my leg. I said, ow. And then I looked down, I have a scratch. She does. She does. She just said it like five seconds ago. We didn't, we weren't even, there's not anything Whoa. near us. I don't like that. <laughs> Something literally ran by and like scratched me, but like with one fingernail. Usually it's like three or something, yeah. but it's just like, like it hurt. Oh, wait, there's two. <laughs> Isn't there two? Okay, literally, that was not there two seconds ago. That's not, not good. There. All right, whatever's here, you're not allowed to touch me. That's just not. Whoa, wait, I've been scratched in the past, but I have not been scratched in a long time. I don't like that it was so low to the floor either. What the? I don't know, or something crawling. Ew. I, well, I don't know. Th that was the weirdest feeling. Like, I literally yelled. I was like, ow. I know, I heard that. I was like, but then. Okay. I did not appreciate that. I can't get over that. The second one's gone, though. Like, it's not. It's just one now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna print down the name of any movie in the history of film. Okay. Right there, but don't tell me what it is, okay? On this card? Yes, please. Can you see through it? <laughs> I'll, I'll do a better. Hide it, hide it. Don't worry, I won't even watch the pen move. Where the hell's my... I have a coin of destiny here somewhere. Done that? Yes. Possibly face down. Oh, God. Touch it. Now listen, uh, we do know each other like we've met, but we've never set this up. Is that right? That's right. Do you know what a coin of destiny is? I don't. Have you ever seen one of these before? No. This will tell me what you're thinking, believe it or not. Can you hold it? Think of the movie. Charge oh, the coin you. with your thought. Give me this thinking for a minute. Something. Pass it to me. All right. Will I know this film? Let's see. It says yes. Okay. Uh, is it a movie that is from the 80s? It says no. Is that true? That's true. Okay. That's what true. I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to take the coin. <laughs> yeah. I want you to hold it, flip it. 
Where'd it go? Flip it in the air. <laughs> Where'd it go? Flip it in the air. Okay. I'm gonna catch it. See what that says? It says a little saying on it. It says, no pain, no gain. Holy shit. He knew it. That's true. Yeah, he did know it. He knew it's, it. It's written on yeah, that card. That That's been true. in my pocket the whole time. Pain and gain. Yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, he That's scares crazy. me. Yeah. He scares me. He's in your mind. <laughs> Guys, we are at Chris's house. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> you just collect a shit ton of things. Haunted items, oddities. You haven't even seen that room yet. Right, but there was someone standing right here and I look over and this is Walt, the haunted doll. I wanted to ask, remember I had that dream of um, a house fire, a fire? Yeah. Does he, do mischief, like fire, anything with fire. Read what that says on Amenia, New York right there. <sighs> My heart's beating so that. fast right now. Okay, hold on. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Read what, me? It, what says. it say? Wait, read it out loud, because I can't see. I'm like shaking, look at oh my, my hands. God. A fire broke out at a home in Dutchess County on Tuesday, August 2nd. The house was built in 1788 when the town was formed and has been in the Tomlinson family for five generations. Someone's touching me. But it was like nice, it was like It'll be fine. rubbing my arm. Okay. I thought it was like, okay, anyways. <laughs> there were no casualties, however, the home was destroyed. It was accidentally started by a member of the family at approximately 12.30 in the afternoon. The cost of the damage is estimated at $100,000. So do they think that he had something? So the owner of the doll was a boy yeah. named Walter Tomlinson, okay. yeah. who we suspect had autism, okay. and he started the fire. And since then, the doll has been inhabited by him. And the past three owners have all had fires. Not me. Not you yet. Knock on wood, though. Not gonna happen. Oh my god, you're gonna jinx yourself, Chris. Mm -hmm. I just saw an orb. Yeah, these. Was... Oh my god, no, because this morning, Kelsey and I were talking about our dreams, and she said she had a dream about a fire. Fire. Like... That's Walt. Pick him up. You're and welcome. I to. got it back, like, right when I walked up, and I was like, this doll. This fucker. Just this kidding. fucking guy. Okay. Walt, is it okay if I pick you up? Your doll up, I mean? Sorry. He's like, that's not me. Okay. Ah! God. Doesn't work anymore, does it? No. Doesn't work. Nothing surprises me with him anymore. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Where did you get wow. it? Wow. I got him from the family. What happened to his little fingers? They've been burnt off, I think. Oh. Hulu did a show and they had a paranormal team investigate him and they found there's hair inside of him. There's ha like inside? human hair? A lock of hair inside of him, yeah. Where? From inside his head. From the We're child? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I keep feeling his back. I don't know why I feel like doing this. Okay. And Kelsey? He's on it. <laughs> oh, he's he looks haunted. Look at <laughs> I can how confirm. Old, how old again is the doll? 1925. Oh, jeez. He's Canada's most haunted doll. Wow, that's crazy. Look who came over to say hello. <gasps> Hi, sweetie pie. Oh my Aww. goodness. <sighs> Do you know how we passed? Do you know no. if it was an illness or? No clue. He was my stomach. In a state sanatorium, and uh, that was the end of him. Do you think they might? I don't know. I don't know if they medicated him if there was too much oh like he od'd mm. possibly or like got sick from the medicine i don't know but it's just like that's what i'm picking up you want to do a session with him and see what we can do yeah look at his i feel like i'm in a freaking museum guys <laughs> This is like, I was expecting like a lot, but holy crap. <laughs> okay. I have not gone in here yet. I'm nervous. 
an actual finger? There is a Finger. Yeah, what do you feel in there, Buttercup? There's a fucking finger on your wall. There's more than is a that, finger on that's the wall. Yes, yeah, that's a real finger. Of course, there's a real. How finger. old is the finger? Uh, 1880s. It's a it's a outlaw's trigger finger. That is like. <laughs> Damn! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! My! My God! They're all real. That is. I feel like I'm in a That's cemetery. That's a real Atacama mummy. That's a real baby alien, kid. This one? Yeah. What in the Don't world? Don't want to take it out. You can feel it. It's like not focusing on it. No, it never Oops. does. It blurries and it goes batty. So tell the story about this little guy. So the Atacama mummy is a small, eight inch tall humanoid that was found in the Atacama desert. There were three known to exist. One recently was discovered about 20 years ago and known as Cirrus. The second one was owned by Robert Ripley of Ripley's Believe It or Not and went missing in 1939. What? And this is the third one and I own it. Wow. And you're free to touch it and hold it and just be careful. But it is the real deal and, uh, and there you have it. Oh my God. So you know that the ancient uh, people of Peru that would is... elongate their skulls. Oh yeah. And there's yeah. a real elongated skull. You ha they have these at the Smithsonian. Yeah, there's a real one. Wow. And uh, they were doing it for a reason. Maybe it was some sort of extraterrestrial influence. I think influence. that they had a and lot there's of... one. That's where that was found. Oh my God. Like it's so real. Oh, it's very real. And the bones are hard and ossified. So they're adult bones. Why is he on, um, is this a pizza sea glass? Stick. No, well that's a pizza stick. Oh, he's just on a uranium glass cause I mounted him on it oh, just for you. fun. But wow. look in his mouth. He has tiny little yeah, tongue, doesn't have ears. His head isn't human. I mean, he has uh, four uh, fingers on each hand, extra ribs. This thing is not human. It's not a primate the real deal guys it, i definitely am like all about aliens so this is like holy shit game is called kiss the alien how dare you no no Do you have, does he have a name i call him at a girl because the ripley's one was at a boy oh. touch his head kelsey feel anything don't up. do anything so I'm saying you're shaking hon the thing is with a like with spirits i'm very familiar with the energy and stuff with with other beings it's so unfamiliar to me. That's why I get like, but this one's like, if I met this little guy, I'd be fine. Whose There's... skull is that? That is a, uh, a mental patient that had a trepanation done, which is the removal of holes of the, in the uh, skull. So this could have been anything to cure schizophrenia, oh. bipolar disorder, possession, um, the measles, I don't know. They kind of just burrowed holes into people's heads for the thrill of it. Oh my and that person not only had one, they had two done, so they survived the operation and there would have been no anesthetic back then. There's something over oh, here absolutely. that Why is very... Why don't you go look and very... see what's over there? Why don't you go see what you think it is? I know what it is. I feel something over here. I know what it is. Oh no. I know 100% what it is. Why are his eyes blind? Because he's covered, because I don't want him seeing. That's what you're feeling. That is a cannibal trophy. That is a guy that was eaten by a tribe. Oh I'm not kidding. God. Kelsey, I'm not going to jump at you. I want you to smell that and I want you to tell everybody what it smells like. I'm not making this up. What does oh it my smell God. Like? Barbecue? That's the smell of roasted human. What you're smelling is the remnant. No, and you know what's weird is uh, I, so I have a chin implant, okay? Really? <laughs> yeah, so I'm very open about, yeah. So I had a receded chin and stuff. Oh, yeah. And I got it like done when I was awake mm. and the, when they cauterized it, That's what that it is like. exactly what it smelled like. The more you know. Can I squeeze your chin implant? <laughs> eh, oh, Israel! And this, this is what they would have used to consume the body. They would have used a cannibal fork oh. because the cannibals never touched the meat except if they were feeding it to one another. The smell just gave me like the exactly. chills. Like That's that was- like a bedpost? No, no. Cannibal fork. This is another cannibal fork right here. So where, that's why is his teeth 
Did they remove them? Pulled out, probably. Got you. Uh, pulled out so he can't do anything from the afterlife. Usually what they do is they wire the jaw shut and they cover the eyes so you can't be uh, seen from the afterlife. The spirit can't see you. The carrot you. The, and the uh, spirit can't speak of its death, so it can't evoke revenge on the tribe. So it's the same type of thing the Shuar do and the uh, Havaro do in uh, Ecuador, Peru, is they'll shrink a human head and they'll sew the lips shut and sew the eyes shut. Same idea. And it's interesting to note that both these cultures on completely different parts of the world have the exact the same, same practice. Thing. That's right? very pretty cool. That's a real double faced cow. You fingers. have so many fingers. I love fingers. They're the weirdest thing. They're what separate us from animals. It's what made us the most violent and horrific creature on the planet. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, creature. that was really deep. Oh my god. Different memento mori that I have. You know, that they would take the hair of uh, a deceased I feel loved so one and just warm kind of right make now, it. like hot. Well, you're next to me, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> No, this room is filled with energy. Um, oh yeah, it's like lots of it. Vi vibrating almost. Like I feel like it's just like zzz, I don't know how to explain it. That's how you feel you to me. Because I don't like I can't I don't have as many senses as you in that regard. But I feel that from you, if that makes sense. Like that's, that's like you seem stressed. Yes. Yeah. It's like you seem anxious. It's not like I'm scared. It's just like. Zzz. <laughs> Kelsey, what do you think these are used for? And I'll tell you, it's not fire. I, this is pretty dark. So these are from the like Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, these are breast rippers for ripping the breasts off of a witch. A witch? Yeah, these are witch torture tools. They would have cauterized, they would have stuck them in the fire, got them red hot, and as they were ripping the breast off the woman to give a confession, it would cauterize so the woman wouldn't bleed, so she lived longer, so they could torture her more. If you want to touch That's, that, I'm not going to I don't know them. if I want to touch it. Touch it, see if you get any energy off of it. Oh, God. Don't touch the booby part. Touch the booby part. I have to touch okay. the booby part. Feel anything I'm like off scared. Of it? It's like heat. Yeah. Wow, that is deal, kid. bizarre. I don't like it. No, it's dark energy. But yeah. you know me, I'm both, right? I'm right down the middle. That's what he kept saying. He's like, I'm neither... Wait, what did you say? I'm neither good or bad. I'm neither light or dark. I'm none. I'm very light, <laughs> so this is like, holy crap. <laughs> so this is Kuban Tong. This is the darkest thing in my house. Uh, it's a baby that was miscarried and or stillborn that has been mummified and covered in gold leaf. And it's almost like a monkey's paw. You make a wish on it and whatever you wish for will come back at you karmically. So if you're a bad person and you wish something bad to happen on somebody else, you'll have something bad happen to you. So like an evil eye. Technically, yes. This is That's a uh, Kuban Thong. That's what it's called. And it is is um, Thai black magic, essentially. My arm's like burning right now. Right? Right next to my crystals. Do you want to touch in and see weird? what happens? Unless it's my crystals that are burning. Yeah, if you're picking stuff up right now and it's bouncing off of all of us. In the 1700s, 18th century. If you lost your teeth, rich people could get dentures made. So they would actually make them out of ivory and corpse teeth. Oh, oh would right. Steal the teeth out of corpses. And then these are called Waterloo dentures because at one point after the Battle of Waterloo, the grave robbers went over to the killing fields and just pulled the teeth out of the skulls, brought them back and sold them to denturists who then made them into dentures. So that's a real set of Waterloo dentures with three human teeth connected. I've learned from touching Feel things. It. Touch it. I'm scared. Go ahead, it won't bite you. I know. Last time I touched teeth, I almost got possessed. It was really aggressive. Really? Yeah. Whose teeth were you touching? We don't know. Oh. It was in cold. a Dybbuk box. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at your hand up and don't drop it. Those are worth like, three grand. Okay, these are they're okay. They're okay. I'm not throwing up. It's no, okay. I don't think anything happened. Oh yes. <laughs> What's your plague victims? Oh yeah, that's a victim. That's a skull of a guy that died of the plague. This one. And that's a. These are trumpets that are made out of fumers. Yeah. And they're used to call ancestors like in ritual ancient Tibet. Stuff? Yeah, wow. the ritual. Wow. So you can hold on to that. So the person that this would have been made from either died a violent death or was murdered. That was the way that it was done. Um, and these are two of them. Wow. So they're uh, they're called uh, kanglings. And that is a kapala, which is the skull of a monk that's been made into a uh, bowl oh for God. offering. And that's a Plague of London skull. So that's a guy that died of the plague. Like the bubonic plague? The bubonic plague, the Black Death. And at the time, 
uh, scammers were selling tiny rings to, sh to ward off the plague. So it was a, a little charm ring that you would have uh, sold to somebody to try to uh, scam them into believing that the plague was uh, avoidable. It's like a lady who she's almost like trying to tell me something, but she's very frantic. I don't mm, know makes sense. explain it, but she's just like... Did you see her before you got handed that or after? I don't remember. It's probably off of that. I was like in it. Did you see me? <laughs> yeah. It was just aggressive. It was just like caught me off guard. Do you want to touch the plague skull? Oh my god, no. I, I will not. I've ever like woken up and said, you know what? I really want to touch a plague skull today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It feels like my heart's like beating out of my chest. So I just keep seeing her and I was explaining that she's surrounded by all this darkness, frantic. It's So Kelsey, it's... when you had the plague, they would have quarantined you in your own home and they would have basically bolted the door shut, bolted the window shut. You wouldn't have any candles. Uh, you would have been in complete darkness in uh, writhing agony and died in isolation. So that's most likely how that person died. I was like trying to pull her out of the darkness, like in my vision, I was trying to pull her out. Hi. Is he shy too or? He's exceptionally shy, so he's never done that with anybody. Really? Doesn't even do it with me. No, he only does that with me. What? Yeah. That cat is loud. He ran up here, that was interesting. So my phone is on airplane mode so that it doesn't set off the K2 meter because sometimes phones do that. So if you guys are doing an investigation, make sure you your phones are put it on airplane mode. And that little device, the triangle went to yes. So I think they're ready for us. We asked, are you ready? Let's go. And it, it ringed on yes. Was like, yes. And we're calling out to whatever spirits want to come and communicate. And this house is filled with spirits. Oh, There's yeah. a little boy, a little girl, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. A cat, I felt a cat brush on me and I guess they have a few cat spirits too. Yeah, my cat passed away in November Aww. and uh, I've not only seen him, Liz has not only seen him, but the cats have seen him. Uh, why don't we try to get maybe Walt, Walt? doing something? He is uh, arguably Canada's most haunted doll. We're gonna do a little investigation and see what we can get. A little you, kid. You just did? Yeah. You, you felt that? I saw like just a small little outline. Yeah, and, and you saw that kid in the car. Oh, okay. Was that yeah, the same it's the one? the same kid. Oh, yeah. okay. Henry. This house is incredibly haunted. Yes, it's definitely. I don't think you expected this when you came. No. Here. I expected it, but like, <clears> wow, <throat> it's aggressive. I want to see. <laughs> you guys want to come forward? and tell us anything. Who was that rustling over there? Can you tell me that? Claudette? One of the cats. And then that cat walked out. Well, Claudette? <laughs> Anybody here who is attached to the doll, if they could come forward. You can make something pass you. Pass you. See us. That's what I'm trying to do is see you guys. I know there's someone in the doorway. Can you tell me who this is? It just got cold. <laughs> just got really cold. Yeah. They're Could tall. you say your name again, please? <laughs> so I... <laughs> Feel it, Chris? Chris. Yeah, I can feel it. So very clear. specific. That was very clear. Are you the same entity that was in the house when I got rid of the altar? Effectively. Effectively? Are you behind us? Are you... Can you make a noise for us and let us know that you're here? We've made it easy for you by placing something about the cat. the cat. You see the cat? I see the cat. Just so you guys know, there are so many orbs flying through here right now. And they are not just flying through the screen, they're coming up to the screen. Are they? Yeah. Someone that keeps trying to 
share something with me. It starts with an A, Anna Lee or something. Anna Lee's. Could you say your name so we know how to address you? She's very old fashioned looking. Who's this woman that I'm connecting with? Someone said lady lady of the house. Is this your house? Yes. Yes it is. My <clears throat> home. Do you live here? Yeah. Did she used to live here? I don't know. Do you still live here? No. Back then. In a way back then. She has her head tied high. She's very, this is my house. You know, like, welcome to my home. Very proper. She has like all this lace. Like, I just keep seeing the top with like this big, almost button looking. Brooch. I don't know what it's called. Like a collar, uh, collar pin. Yeah. Is this Anne? Annalise. Walt, do you want to connect with Summerland and see if you can tell me who's here? <laughs> Walt, can you tell me who's here? I heard someone like tapping him. Did you hear that? <laughs> Harold. Is that Harold? <laughs> Henry, if you're here, would you like a toy? He was in the car with us earlier. Was there watching or yeah. something? Did you come to the store with us, Henry? Yes. If you show yourself and fly around right now, it would, it would be extremely yes. helpful. We would be very thankful. Can I sit? He said. You can sit. You're welcome. There is a ghost. No, you're the ghost. Whoa. What was that? I just that was it. That. <laughs> yeah, it's you. I'm just like, <laughs> there's just, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I had to explain. It's just like, <laughs> you're here. You caught that on camera? Yeah, the arms are on command. Can you show yourself to the camera right here, please? <gasps> Shut the yep. fuck up. That's been happening the entire time. Thank you. They're here. Again. You just touched my head. He did. He How, said he, he did. did, and then he said, "Help me." How do you want me to help you? So this is a new device. I have not used this yet. It's called the Ghost Tube Seer. This is an app that allows you to be shown things visually. Will interpret what the spirit is doing or what they're trying to, to show you. And show what? Us, yeah. So we have to kind of figure out what All they're right, trying to show us. All right, let's give this a go. Us. I want to give this a try. Can I try first? Yes. Now I'm in severe static like I'm in uh, watching a television screen. That's all white snow. Yes, okay. Prior to that, it was like a black sort of a static. But now, ask some questions. All right. Can you guys show oh, something on the screen? Wow. <laughs> what do you see? Oh my God, they're horrifying faces. What? What kind? One of them, it's like laughing. Okay, I see this weird portal with two mouths opening up and this like passageway that goes in. You're, you're gonna die when you see this. Whoever's showing him that, can you show us something else to share where you're coming from or what object you're with? Maybe they're trying to show you that there's a portal. <gasps> I think it was the cat, I don't know. Can you show me something other than this image? It's going away, thank you. Show me something else. Chris, look to your left. Do you see anything? Like oh, wow. far, far to your left. Do you see anything? I see nothing because the screen kind of ends and then it just sort of stops. Okay, something very misty just walked through the screen. There it is! Little boy height. Shut up! Wait, do you see Everyone it? quiet! Quiet. I see you. Can you show me? What are you? What is this? There's a weird machine. What are you? I feel it really cold. This is so cool. You're not getting this back, by the way. 
It's cold over here too. Okay, what is your name, buddy? I see you. I see blood. I see a blood appearing on the right hand side. It's like a heart beating. Can you tell me what you want? Tell me what you want, man. I can't interpret what the image is, guys, but when you see this video, you're gonna know what it is or you're gonna see it. Can you please tell me what you are in some manner? Oh, you're vanishing. Don't go away. Thank you. Wow. Walter, if you want to come forward, you're welcome to. The fact that it takes like so long, it doesn't just appear random images. Right. Like it takes a while mm -hmm. for something to even appear. I think that concludes the whole thing. I think they left. It's actually really interesting that there's absolutely nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It all just went away. The entire room is light. Yeah. That kind of shows that this is oh. like accurate. Yeah, it doesn't just yeah. like produce something for the sake of producing something. Right. That's I mean, I haven't used it a Air lot, it so I don't know yet, but it. like it's pretty weird that it just stopped. This is roasting. Yeah. And it does feel lighter. It definitely does. I'm literally that person that tries to explain away the bump in the night. Like, what was that? Right. You yeah. know? It got absolutely nothing. And when I can't explain it, that's when it's good. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to Mysterion for allowing us in his home and to see all of his oddities. That was just such a crazy experience. I hope you guys were entertained. Also, my new song is out everywhere now. Go stream September 10th. The music video officially is coming August 7th. Make sure you are subscribed. Also, hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will see you in my next video.